What the heck? <gasps> hey, what's up, you guys? Film fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review Resident Evil The Final Chapter. Yay! So, Resident Evil The Final Chapter stars Mila Jovovich, and what this film is about it's about when Alice, this is her final journey, ladies and gentlemen. As she now knows about this sit, this um, this cure for the whole, you know, invasion and infection and all these zombies and everything, you know, she now needs to find this cure and stop the bad guys, the uh, the uh, Umbrella Corporation, from getting it and stuff. And yeah, <sighs> I'm sick of death. I'm sick to death with these movies. Like seriously, I really am. This is a terrible franchise. Th this is one of the worst franchises of all time. The first movie was fine. It was okay. It wasn't great. But you know what? At least it's, I will say it's the at least most watchable one out of any of these movies. Then from then on, they just got worse and worse and worse and worse. And now we're at the sixth movie in this series. In the supposed final one. Yeah. Final one. And uh, like I said in the intro before the intro, what the heck? What? What was this movie? This has got to be the worst action movie I have ever seen in my life. Like, I'm not even kidding. This has to be the legitimate worst action movie I've ever seen put the film. This makes ballistic... Look like Terminator 2 Judgment Day. But seriously, I'm not even kidding. This makes Taken 3 look like, um, I don't know, makes it look like the original Taken. Like, this was awful. Uh, this was atrocious. No, not even atrocious. It's the word for it. This was horrendously awful garbage. This was bad. Like, really. Really, really bad. And, yeah, let's just get right into it. You know, come on. There's no positives with this movie. No. Go to the negatives. We're going straight into it. The negatives with this movie. First being, the acting. The acting is so terrible in this film. Mila Jovovich, uh, she's not even that great of an actress, to be honest. She really isn't. Uh, the only time I could say I really liked her in something was in Fifth Element, and that's about it, really. All the other movies I've seen her in, she's just either okay or really bad, and she was really bad in this movie. She's so wooden, she's so bland, she really just, and she acts so over the top at some points, she really does. She wasn't good in this movie, she was really terrible in the film. My boy Ian Glenn from Game of Thrones, what, why does he keep on doing these movies? He's so bland and boring like seriously he's so bland and boring and even he has some very over the top moments in this film as well like he was bad in this film he was really bad in this movie i thought he was just awful S same goes with ali lauder like she wasn't good in this movie either i really didn't think she did a good job as well ruby rose what was she doing because she's barely even in the movie like, seriously, so what was her purpose to be there in the first place? Just really, the acting is really terrible. It's awful in this movie. I absolutely hated the acting in this movie. Now let's get into the thing I hated the most about this movie. And you know what's coming because everybody has legitimately said this about this movie. The action sequences. Oh my. The action sequences. You know what? When I heard that this was filmed so poorly, I was like, 
Okay, well, let's see. Literally, every action scene, I swear, there was had to be at least 25 cuts per scene, during per action scene. Like, seriously, it was like, it was so many cuts, I was like, my head was spinning. Like, seriously, my head was spinning of how much cuts they used during these action sequences. Like, literally, for everything, even when she's loading up a gun. Like, seriously, they use about, like, five or ten different cuts. Just for her loading up a gun! Like, seriously, the action sequences are so poorly filmed and so poorly edited. They're the worst action sequences I've seen put to film. Like, seriously, if you thought Taken 3 had bad editing, oh, 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 oh my. You've seen nothing. You, you have seen nothing. You have seen nothing. Oh my goodness. Like seriously, the action sequences in this movie are so poorly edited that you're just sitting there like, wow, they thought this was good. Like seriously, Paul W.S. Anderson and the editing team seriously sat down in the studio and thought this was good. They thought this was good action, people. T seriously. Yeah, quick cuts every legitimate point second. Literally, every point second, it felt like there was a quick cut. During every action sequence. I'm not joking. Legitimately, every action sequence, there is a quick cut. And it's so mind-boggling. I don't know what's worse, this or shaky cam. I really don't. Because they're both terrible. And they're both some of the worst things to happen in the action genre. Like, seriously, the quick cut... Editing is terrible with this movie. I know everybody says the slow motion is the worst thing about these movies. At least I can see what's going on in the slow motion sequences. During these edited action scenes, I can barely tell what's going on. Because that's how poorly edited these action sequences are. They can legitimately can have a fight, to, a hand-to-hand -hand combat sequence without 10 or 15, or heck, 20 cuts during that scene. If you thought the final scene to, um, Alex Cross was bad, that- this makes that look like the Bourne movies. Like, dead serious. The action sequences are so poorly filmed in this movie. They're so terribly edited. Not to mention that- uh, I'll take a break from the action sequences, because my goodness, those action sequences were so bad. The villains with these movies, they're terrible. They're, they're some of the most over-the-top, generic- just terribly acted villains. They're awful. They seriously are. Ian Glenn, I seriously don't know what you're doing. You're so great in Game of Thrones and you just do this movie and those other movies and you're just, what are you doing? He was terrible. So was this, like, the other guy, you know, the like the big bodyguard guy with the sunglasses. I forgot his name. He's terrible. Like, seriously, they're some of the most generic and awful villains. Like, seriously, they're just generic and terrible villains. Villains. The writing. <laughs> oh my. The writing is terrible. Like, seriously. It is so atrociously awful, this writing. It is bad. Like, really, really bad. I absolutely hated the writing with this movie. The, these characters' dialogue were so terrible. Like, I'm like, oh, what are you guys doing? Like, seriously. What are you really doing? Man, just the writing was terrible and the directing. Oh man, Paul W.S. Anderson, oh man, he's he's one of the worst directors of all time. He does not know how to direct a movie. He seriously doesn't. Like, seriously, he really does not know how to direct a movie. The only movie I could say is somewhat, I mean, it's still not a good movie, but it's somewhat of a guilty pleasure, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. Death Race, it's not a good movie, but you know what, at least you can have somewhat of fun with that movie, unlike with these Resident Evil movies. You know what I mean? Uh, just, oh my goodness, I get it's some of these people's guilty pleasures and whatever, fine, I don't care, enjoy them for what they are, but for me, no, I can't. Paul W. Anderson just does an awful job directing this movie. Like, seriously, the way he would film, like I said, the action scenes, just the way he would film those, oh my goodness, they were so, they were so poorly filmed. Like, seriously, this movie, this whole movie is so poorly filmed. Paul W.S. Anderson does not know how to direct a movie, folks. Seriously, he does not know how to direct a film. 
okay? He does a terrible job directing this movie. He really does. He does an awful job directing this movie. It's so poorly shot, so poorly edited, like I said. The cinematography is terrible. Like, it's awful with this movie. It looks so bad in this film. And the visual effects... The visual effects in this movie, people. The visual effects. What? The... They are the most obvious green screen effects that you will probably see in a long time. Like seriously, it is so obvious that they filmed this behind a green screen. It is so obvious with the backgrounds, with the creatures. It, it is terrible looking this movie. Like seriously, and it comes off as the biggest Mad Max Fury Road ripoff you could ever see in your life. Like seriously, the whole environment just rips off that movie entirely. And just the visual effects look awful. They are garbage. They're terrible. Like, seriously, you feel like you're watching a PlayStation 2 video game. Like, seriously, these visual effects are awful. They are terrible in this movie. I absolutely hated the visual effects in this film. They looked so terrible. I couldn't believe my eyes. And that the, fa the fact that it's mentioned that this movie is bo 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 boring. My goodness, this movie is boring. I was so bored watching this. This movie's only an hour and 46 minutes. I can't even speak. This movie is only an hour and 46 minutes. And it felt like two hours. I'm dead serious. This movie felt like it was two hours long. Two and a half hours long, to be honest. Like, seriously, it moved at such a snail's pace, this movie. It just wouldn't end. This movie wouldn't end. And when it finally ended, I was like, thank God, thank you. I don't have to deal with this series anymore. This is the final one. Hopefully. Seriously, don't pull a cop out and say that this is the final one. And then be like, oh no, we got a seventh one. Don't. 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 Seriously. I don't get it. I don't get how people can somewhat defend this series. I, I really can't. The Resident Evil movie series is one of the worst film series of all time. I, I can't see how anybody... Fine, if you enjoy these movies, fine, whatever. Me? No. I can't see it. I can't see what the enjoyment is with these movies. They're so terribly acted. The action scenes are so poorly filmed. It has horrible directing, horrible writing, generic and terrible villains, and terrible looking visual effects. I don't get it. And Resident Evil, the final chapter, is the worst out of all of them. No question. And it might just be the worst action film ever put to screen. Like, Sony, seriously, how did you think this was a good movie? How did you, were like, oh yeah, this is good, let's put this out. What? 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 Like, seriously, how did you think this was a good movie? H how did you seriously think people were gonna like this? Seriously, I don't see no other movie. I, I really can't see no other movie beating this for worst film of the year. Not even Transformers last night I see beating this. This is terrible. This is awful. It's You know what? I don't even have to say the whole thing. You know what's an F. This movie's an F. It's an F, 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 okay? This is terrible, this movie. It's a disgrace to action films. Like, seriously, if you want to see great action movies, see movies like Mad Max Fury Road, John Wick, Edge of Tomorrow. Those are great action movies, not this. But yet, th this is the movie that's going to make tons of money. Seriously, Resident Evil, the final chapter, is a mess. It's a pile of garbage. It is awful. Don't see it. Don't support it. It's a terrible action movie so it definitely deserves an F so if you have seen Resident Evil the final chapter what did you think of it leave in the comments section below and I'm film fan 0599 and we'll see you all later peace